Hello citizens and welcome back. This is our match preview for Man City first Real Madrid in the Champions League. It's the second leg of course, so make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe as well. Let's jump into it. So Real Madrid, you know, we've been here before. We were here last season. We drew 1-1 with them at the Bernabeu and then we smashed them 4-0 at the Etihad. We absolutely ran riot that night, particularly in the first half. They couldn't live without press, our pressure. And yeah, we we just overwhelmed them. And Going into this season's, look, first leg was 3-3. I'd take that, I said in the match preview to that game, that anything at the Burnaby is a good result for us. You know, as long as we don't get beat, I'm happy with it. Going to the Etihad, either on level or ahead. Can't complain. And we can't complain. We had some good moments at the Burnaby. Of course, we scored some really good goals. But overall, I think a draw is probably a fair result there. I think they came well after we took a early lead. They came back to us and then we responded well in the second half. So going into this one, I expect more of the same. I think it's a 50-50 toss-up this one. I don't think we're going to be favourites. Well, we will be on paper and we will be with all the bookies and everything. But look, I don't think we're favourites in this game. I think it's 50-50. I think the way we set up, the way they set up, I think it's pretty much like when we go against Liverpool. You know, you expect us to have most of the ball. They all hit us on the counter-attack. And it, it it's going to depend on how well we deal with that counter-attack. The good news is we've got Walker coming back. I think Walker's pace last season, it scared them a little bit because you saw Phoenicius Jr. not wanting to tackle us. You know, he couldn't get out of his own half because Walker was on him the entire time. And I think we're going to need more of that in this game as well. You know, I I, I don't think we've hit full stride. It's, it's funny to say because we've just gone top of the Premier League, you know, with Liverpool and Arsenal bottling it. Um, we, we, of course, drew with them 3-3 at the Bernabeu as well last week. But we still haven't hit our stride, you know. We're still not playing our best. You look at the Luton game, it was 5-1. But I don't think we got our first gear, let alone gone to second or third. I think we just coasted through that one. And we do need a bit of jump in, not just quality, but a bit of jump in, you know, intensity in this game. I think that's what we're going to need because, like I said, they're going to hit us on the break quite a lot, as we saw in the first leg last week. They're going to hit us on the break. They're going to look at try and hurt us on there. And it's up to us to stop it. Because I expect them to take their chances when they come. Because we've seen that over the years. You know, we've been disappointed by them a couple of times. Because they do take their chances and we don't. So we definitely need to uh, up our game a little bit. Who do we start in this one? Well, I expect Edison in goal. You know, it's going to be Diaz. I'd, I'd like, do you know, the full back, the, the back four I'd really like is Guardiola, Diaz, Stones and Walker. Unfortunately, I think Stones is probably not going to be ready for this game. Walker likely to start I don't think he's going to be on the bench I think Pep will I mean Pep said he might not risk him because he does need him for the rest of the season which is true and if you play Walker in this one he gets injured and then we get knocked out it's an absolute nightmare for us but I, I expect him to start in this one because I think he needs to in midfield it's going to have to be Rodri he was rested against Luton Folden's going to come back in as well I'm sure of it Um, that means who do you play alongside who do you play in the middle? Do you play Bernardo or do you play Foden? For me, you play Foden. You put Bernardo on the right-hand side because we saw it last season. He absolutely destroyed Real Madrid from that side. So you play Bernardo on the right, Foden, Bernardo, uh, De Bruyne and Rodri in the middle. Left-hand side for me has to be Grealish. I know Doku had a wonder goal. I don't think it was a wonder goal against Leeds. And I thought it was good, but let's not overrate it what it was. Um, And I think Grealish has to start because Grealish is going to be able to hold the ball more. He's going to be able to deal with it more defensively because I think he works harder going backwards as well. Him and Foden work really hard going backwards and I think that's why those two are must start in this game as well. And of course, it's going to be Haaland up front, but I think wherever you play Haaland or Alvarez, I don't think it's going to matter much because I think they both give us absolutely nothing, to be honest with you, most of the time. And the only difference is that Alvarez seems to take every single one of our corners and set pieces. So even when De Bruyne was on the pitch against Luton, he was taking on our corners. I don't know what that's all about, but there you are. So I think that's going to be the starting eleven. I think everyone has to be on it. It's one of those games where you can't really have passengers on this one. Everyone needs to do their job and I expect them to do their job as well. It just depends on how well Real Madrid do their job, which is soak up that pressure and hit us on the brick. And I've said it time and time again, that is when we're most vulnerable because going back towards our own goal, we're an absolute disaster. And I think it's telling as well. You know, I always say that Walker isn't the best defender. And he's not He's not a good defender. I don't think he is. I think he's quick. But whenever you watch us get hit on the break, Walker never seems to be there. It's always Diaz, Stones or Akanji. You know, they're the ones that are furthest back for us. And I know they play centre-back and they're in the middle on the halfway line. But what the hell is Walker in all these attacks? I don't even know. But we'll see how it goes. What do I expect? Wow. 
do I expect us to go through? No, I said earlier that it's 50-50. I do. I, at the Etihad, we're, for some reason, even when we're not at our best at the Etihad, we get out results. And I think that's because teams are afraid to attack us. I don't think Real Madrid are going to be one of those teams. You know, I think they're going to be like Liverpool. They're going to try and risk it just a little bit, just enough to annoy us and to try and snatch a win. But I expect it to be tight. I don't think it's going to be another 4-0 riot. I mean, I don't think anyone would have anticipated that last season. I certainly didn't. I don't think it's going to happen here either. I've seen predictions like 4-1, 4-0, 5-0 by the media. Absolutely ridiculous. Just because we're top of the league, it's going to be close. And I think it's going to be much like a couple of seasons ago. Where was it? 4-3, 3-2, whatever that game was. I think it's going to be like that game. So I think it's going to be end-to-end. -end. I don't think that early, I don't think an early goal would count for much. Whether they score or we score in the opening 10 minutes, I don't think that's going to matter too much because I think the game's going to be won at the beginning of the second half, not the first. So regardless of what the scores, whether it's 1-0, 1 or 2-1, two, 2-0 two, at halftime, I think the first goal in the second half early on is going to be what decides this. And I think whoever gets that goal will go on to win it. That's my prediction. And I do... I'm going to put myself out on a limp. I'm going to say City win 3-2. That's what I'm going to go with. I think it's going to be winning 90 minutes. It's not going to go to extra time. It's going to be 3-2. Uh, yeah. Either way, as long as City winning... It's a chance for another double treble, which I think is pushing it a bit too far for us, particularly with the injuries that we've had in the change in personnel from last season. Because I think this is a perfect game for Gundam 1. But here you are. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for checking it out. Make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe as well. If you like this show, help the channel grow. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, come on, you blues. Bye-bye.